Hey Scorpio, I hope that you're all doing well. This reading is going to be about what will be unfolding for you over the next seven days. Anything important that you need to know? The first card that we have out is Knight of Cups. So the Knight of Cups typically is a card that speaks about motion. It usually speaks about mobility, usually speaks about us doing something, making some type of gesture, a movement that comes from the heart. But the Knight of Cups in this deck is actually sitting still. The Knight of Cups in this deck is actually sitting sort of among everything that they're feeling. And so rather than rushing out to do something or to react or to make a gesture or to have that conversation or to say how you feel, it can actually be a time where instead of doing all that, you kind of more so sit with how you're feeling. And you can be sitting in the whole like waterfall of your experience. Because this, this night looks like they're just chilling there for right now. Like this looks like more of a... I'm reflecting on things, I'm being with how I'm feeling right now, I'm sitting here. It doesn't even feel like a rush to be making a move. This feels more so just like being with everything and being around your experience. It's kind of reminding me of the Queen of Cups a little bit. But I, but with the Queen of Cups, that sort of, for the most part, all the Queen of Cups is doing, because there's a Knight of Cups here, I feel like eventually once you have sat with everything there will be a move that you make but only when it's time to do it and until then it looks like there's more of a being with the energy that doesn't mean you don't want to like get up and do a bunch of things or even make this move however you can feel like Maybe there's something to learn, to gain, to understand about sitting there before you make that move. Sitting with it. That is the way. I'm seeing the Ten of Cups come out. That's what you're looking towards. Maybe this was reflecting and trying to figure out where your Ten of Cups was and how to move in that direction. Ten of Cups is about your pursuit of happiness. Joy, connection, fulfillment. What feels nourishing to the soul? Wow, all cups energy. We also have an ace of cups here. Not saying something until it's time, not making a move until it's time. Looking over, it feels like out of everything that's going on, having to feel out what direction the 10 of cups is in, which means that if there are a lot of different things that you're experiencing or that you're feeling or moves that you wanna make or emotions that are coming up, this is about finding the path that will actually be like happy for you or will actually be peaceful for you or will actually be reflective of the movement that your soul the direction that your soul wants to move within. So we have that Ten of Cups there, which feels like finding out what that is for you, where you wanna go, how you wanna do this. And then having that Ace of Cups there shows like a new chapter that cracks open. I sat with it, I thought about it. 
I'm making a move in a direction that I know because I've spent time reflecting on it that really is the answer for me in this scenario and now I'm going about opening that chapter so I can touch base with that so that's what I can build upon now to a couple different things that were going on here where maybe you had different avenues in front of you and you recognize that those were options but they may have not been the best option as far as what you're trying to do as far as what you want to feel connected to or like how you want to be feeling i'm also seeing to the five of swords here Having Five of Swords come up can be conflict that we're dealing with mentally. It also speaks about stuff having to do with the heart chakra, in my opinion. So when we have Five of Swords, it can be like you realizing your hangups, you realizing resentments or anger that you're feeling, anything that you're still holding on to, places where you have defenses, places where you have blocks, places where you are justifying protecting yourself but it's keeping you from that sense of connection that you're really looking for and so it's actually blocking you from what you want what you want to connect with it can be a big time to be reflecting on that where these things can become apparent and revealed to you even because i get this sense of there's like a power in withholding or not making moves and you can kind of feel like an evil genius a little bit when you're first doing that until you realize like wow i'm just gonna be alone here if i keep doing that or why do i feel so disconnected oh that's why and it's because of sort of keeping things at arm's length so even though five of swords you can feel like well i'm just protecting myself and there's nothing wrong with that if that's what you want to do at the same time you can be protecting yourself from what you actually want and you feel like you can be separated from what you feel called in the direction of so i'm getting this thing that has to do with armor which can be like a lack of vulnerability, a lack of willingness, not for no reason. It comes from a place of protection. It comes from a place of preservation. So you're not just like, it's not senseless that you're doing this. It's more so like if I stay over here and I don't involve myself in that or put myself out there or make myself vulnerable, I can be over here protecting myself because who knows how that's going to go if I do that. I'll be vulnerable if I do that. At the same time, you can feel like, but what I really want is outside of this armor. So it, it feels like you realize that you have two options here. You can either be within that five of swords, which can definitely be something that keeps your ego safe. And you can feel good because of that on an ego level, which will only go so deep. Or... You may have to like put yourself out there a little bit for this Ten of Cups in order for that to be simultaneously. You can feel like the call of it is becoming very loud. And maybe your, your higher self or like your soul or your heart, whatever you're calling it, you can feel like it's becoming more loud than the fear of the ego here. Like you're resonating more so with that now, with your heart. Here is the Queen of Cups. Making a move on behalf of your heart, regardless of your hangups, because I'm definitely seeing some stuff going on here with this Five of Swords that would keep you from wanting to put yourself in a vulnerable position. I even get the vibe with this of like you're over here and what's calling to you is over here and in order for you to cross there's like a when you have to go into through like the middle of the field it's kind of like an unprotected space that you'd be moving through and so it feels like there has to be a move of vulnerability of willingness of 
honesty and transparency that you can feel like there's really going to be such a great payoff if you do that on an internal level. So that decision between do I keep myself like under this rock over here and stay protecting myself and stay in longing of what I really want or do I move in the direction of what's been calling to me even if that means I have to shed this armor. Because I even feel this feeling triggered by the Ace of Cups, which is an interesting thing to see. It's like when you look into water and you think that you're seeing the water and you're really just seeing your own reflection. And that being where this feeling of conflict is coming from. The softening of the heart. I get this being like a very big let love in moment. That's just all around what it feels like to me. And like stuck between that is there's like you in the middle of this knowing what you feel connected with and that part of you that is the Queen of Cups that communicates very clearly to you about what's going on in your heart space. And then there's the stuff going on with the mind and there's the stuff going on with the ego and the defenses and the like I don't know if I want to be vulnerable or not and then like looking at the ace of cups and then seeing your re reflection within that and at first you don't realize but then you do and then what are you going to do about the whole thing it feels like this type of movement that's going on here because I get even when you have knight of cups and when you have five of swords you can make a move that your ego will pat you on the back for or you can make a move that your heart will pat you on the back for and you basically get to decide like which one are you going to be moving for like what movement um which of these is going to motivate the movement that you make and one of these things you can feel um your ego can feel safe and also disconnected as well and the other move that you can make can be one of solace for you. It can be one of feeling that sense of connection and feeling like lit all the way up and feeling like that does really nourish your soul. And that's where this conflict has come from. That's like basically what's being worked out. It feels like, am I going to be motivated by the love in my heart and moving that way the way that my soul calls to me or am I going to be motivated by the narrative of fear of my ego and if I have any hope of feeling a sense of fulfillment there's only one obvious answer here and that is the way I definitely do at first with the Ace of Cups get this feeling of you looking at a pool of water that is the Ace of Cups and you peer into it and there's this feeling of being very triggered, feeling very triggered by that or feeling heightened or feeling activated by that but you're really just seeing your own reflection. So like that's what's triggering you. It's not the Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups is just the water there. It's just that mirror. It's just that pool but you see something going on within the heart space that is the five of swords and it feels like a moment where that can be a revelation that you have that the ace of cups is not the thing where like the ace of cups is not that offensive thing like wanting to come get you that's actually the thing that you connect with so you can feel that sense of connection it's really just the reflection of the five of swords that's like scaring you away from it and discerning that that's actually what this has been about. Because I get to, I'm seeing this desire for stability emotionally and also a sense of security for you. I think in like more of a 
stable type of way and allowing something to now move forward, something to proceed. Yeah, this is definitely just ego stuff that's coming to light, but the beautiful thing about this is that now you can be aware and you can see like what's been holding you back, what's been deterring you, what's been keeping you away from where you want to be, all of the fears, what's gonna happen if we go in that direction, what can change, what can occur, all of that, the anxiety about it. Finding answers so that this stuff can be worked out, gathering knowledge, wisdom, and then the moving towards what it is that you want which looks like the two of cups which feels even like this is union that comes together with you and yourself and also to another person can be involved in this shore but most of all it's about you with you and that being what's going on here i get the feeling like this does feel significant when there is an ace of cups it means that there is a there's something that we can plug into and when you first saw it you could have felt very triggered by that or like i need to protect myself or like defensive in some sort of way only to realize that it wasn't that it was the reflection of your own heart space that you saw and that was the thing that had you feeling like that about it until you realize through that reflecting and through that sitting, rather than making the move, sitting with that and being like, where is this coming from? And realizing that like it has to be a reflection of you and it coming from there. And with that, then working things out and moving things around and gaining the understanding that you're gaining and the, the self-awareness that you're gaining and then making an informed move all right, my friends, we're going to leave the reading here. I would like to thank everyone for connecting. Thank you for tuning in. I'm sending everybody love and I hope to catch you guys next time.